Mobile racing has always been tough for me, and I'm sure it's tough for others as well. So I decided to buy a couple things and see if it would help me out. So obviously I could just continue using the motion sensors and you know, the touch and I should be fine. But I also wanted to test out some other accessories like the Backbone One. And I also wanted to see if, you know, just buying some wheel online would simulate an actual simulator. So I did that as well. Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, the backbone that I bought is for the PlayStation, but I don't have a PlayStation, so I won't be able to play any of the Gran Turismo's, nor will I be able to use any of their other features. But what I do have is a free copy of Real Racing 3. Now, Real Racing 3 is actually a pretty old game, but they do maintain it with a ton of updates. People still play it, so I thought that this would be the perfect game for my testing even if I'm a little ashamed to show you how I drive on mobile. Now, let's start with the basics. No controller. Now, if you don't have gobs of money to spend on accessories for your phone, this is likely what you'll be using. So, if you were me, and in my shoes, this is how it looked. So, coming off the gate here, um, my thumb is actually covering up that Porsche on the right, and it's kind of tough because I don't necessarily know that he's there and then he comes up right there again and it's because my thumb is covered. But the good thing, even though that's pretty negative, is that I'm able to move out of his way pretty easily by just shifting my phone up and down like so and dodge some other cars that are moving a little too slow. And it looks super smooth, it almost looks like I am using a sim wheel um, because again this is optimized for motion and optimized for touch so this game does extremely well when you're using both of those. So here I'm going on the break and uh, again because it's so smooth I'm able to get by people and yeah that's why the pros are it's hella smooth and the lines that I'm able to make are pretty legit they look decent they look real now the cons for me is that touch is kind of in the way and I also get Wii vibes from this which I really don't care for the whole motion thing not a fan now the backbone one this is something that I was super excited to get I immediately opened it up took off my phone case unfortunately but plugged it right in and it was just working and this little controller accessory brought me back to a good time in my life when I was a kid opening up my new gifts. The big one. Unfortunately, just like getting a lump of coal on Christmas Day, it actually disappointed. And I'll show you why. So coming up on this first turn, I thought that I could take this and it just sent me wide. And you can see from before, I didn't do too well with this either. And another thing is, is because of that, my inputs for my steering are absolutely horrendous. They're not smooth at all, and I have to tap in order to turn. Meaning I have to tap the D-pad left or right in order to get the car to turn, and I have to do the same thing when trying to stay straight. I tried to use the joystick, but that didn't help either. So when it comes to steering, this is absolutely horrendous. Now, Maybe this works better on a different game, I don't know, but for real racing, I don't think I can recommend this at all, because the steering inputs are extremely important. Yes, you can step on the gas pedal and brake pretty easily, I guess, but when it comes to steering, this is probably not your best tool. Now, I don't want to completely bash it. It does feel great, and it's not just the PlayStation controller. I can use it on pretty much any game on my iPhone making it a pretty useful accessory. Now, just for Real Racing 3, I had horrible steering inputs. And the backbone that I bought was meant for the PlayStation, so it's probably better on that. I really don't know. I did try to find something else to test, and I found this on eBay. And it didn't even fit my phone, so let's not even waste any time on this. And let's chuck this where it needs to be chucked. And that's in the trash. 
And if you actually like this wheel and want it, you can have it, just hit me up. In conclusion, you can use a wheel that likely won't fit your phone or an expensive accessory, or you can just use your good old hands. Thank you.